Hello, Janina. How Hi. are you? I'm very good. How are you? I'm good. I'm sending you the live on Instagram so you can enter. Okay. And uh, ask to, to participate so the people on Instagram can watch you and we can start to speak a bit about photography and women. Okay, I will ask you. There we go. Yes, I will accept. Tonight I will accept this invitation, yes. Are you okay? The weather in there is good. Sunny. Oh, well, where I... I need to make sure that's muted though. Uh, yes, it's it's not too bad at the moment, although I believe we've got quite a strong rain coming yes. where you, I you, live you at need, the moment. You need to change your camera. I'm watching the the back of the phone, I think. Let's uh -huh. let's see. Só mais um, um bocadinho, que isto hoje há sempre estes percalços. So which camera is it going to go off? My phone or... No, your phone, your phone. Oh, is it? Yes. The, you, you leave, you leave the, the live. Try to enter again. Okay, and I ask you to... to come. Did you enter the live? No. No. So, th so the whole thing is going for the phone. The Instagram, yes, at the phone, yes. And you don't have the phone in there. I do, yes, but the cam the battery is quite weak. Oh, but there's no problem. Okay. We'll see. Yes, let's let's see. But uh, vão passando para o YouTube porque uh, daqui a bocadinho ela pode ficar sem bateria e lá se vai a live do Instagram. Okay. Okay. There you are. There you are. You need to you put need the to sound off on yep. the phone, yes. yes. Should be going off. Okay. okay. And Is let's it? let's start. <laughs> it. It's not letting me go totally mute here. Um, Don't be nervous. Not not no many pressure. No, I'm just trying to find the mute button on there for this. Oh put put the sound down then. It's not coming down any lower. Okay, but I think it's... No, 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 okay. Mm. Would it be better to do it for the computer on Instagram, or will it not work? Yes, we can yes, try it. Can try even it. even yeah, using... Let's try that. Yes. So I've got Instagram up here. Okay. Just a few more minutes. Entretanto, todos que estão aí vão pondo os vossos gostos, vão partilhando a live. A Janina já vai entrar, já vamos conversar sobre o papel das mulheres na fotografia de casamentos. Vai ser uh, interessante, muito interessante a conversa hoje. Vamos perceber se há diferenças entre fotografia de homens ou de mulheres nos casamentos. Eu, eu tenho a minha opinião, vamos ver qual é que é a da Janina. Is everything okay in there, Janina? Uh, yes, if it's, I'm just seeing if the if the invitation again comes on Instagram on my uh, on my actual computer. I send you invitation to the live. Yeah. Okay. I send it now. Did you did you watch it? And the, it's done. way yeah okay i don't think i can join for the computer okay no problem vamos continuar no youtube e depois eu passo isto para o igtv não há problema okay we we continue on youtube only okay let's okay. let's go <sighs> okay so for start and relax make a little presentation of yourself and um, Let's talk about uh, photography on uh, on weddings, the difference between women and men. But first, make a presentation for all the people so, that don't know you. So, hi, I'm Janina. I'm a wedding photographer based in the United Kingdom. Uh, I pretty much photograph everywhere in, uh, in England and Scotland, but I'm happy to travel anywhere to Europe as well. I've got a few weddings next year in Italy, which I'm really looking forward to, um, and hopefully some further away as well. Um, I've been photographer for five years, 
but only full time for about two. I'm a mom of two children. Um, I really enjoy the moment of the wedding photography. I um, would class myself as a documentary wedding photographer. Um, for me, moments beat anything, any light composition or anything like that. Uh, emotions, are, I think the most important is what we remember, how we always feel. Um, yeah. <laughs> And uh, uh, how the photography appears in your life? Um, photography has always been actually my family. Everybody uh, had a hobby as a photographer, even um, my dad, my mom, my brother. Uh, my brother actually finished um, school, uh, art school. Um, and we've always enjoyed taking photos. They were, they were always a huge part of our life. So it was kind of natural for me eventually to, to follow that path where basically I really didn't want to work in a job which I didn't enjoy and I just felt I'm getting paid for doing the same thing and being miserable and I just felt well, quite cheesy following my dream basically. And the weddings in England are very different? The, the traditions, the, all the, the mood, no? Um, weddings in, I, I photograph, I would say, very multicultural weddings as well. So I'm familiar with many different cultures and uh, I also photographed in Poland as well. I'm half Polish. Um, I, I think every wedding is different. Doesn't matter if it's what tradition it is or what country it is. I think they're all different. I made one English wedding at Madeira Island and okay. uh, it was a bit crazy. Uh, <laughs> Very, very hard, and uh, I discovered that uh, some English women drink a lot, <laughs> much more than me and men. <laughs> but it, yes. it was very funny, and uh, I got some very nice photos, and um, I made a, a, the civil wedding at uh, Mayfair, um, Mayfair Library mm -hmm. in London, so it was, was very good, yes. And, and you believe that um, there is difference between man and woman um, photographing weddings? This is this is actually a really hard question because I think it depends on the personality. I think not on the gender, in my opinion. Um, even choosing my own wedding photographer, if I was get obviously I'm, I'm married at the moment, <laughs> and hopefully it's going to stay that way. Uh, but if I was going to choose wedding photographer now for my wedding day, I don't think I would be led by agenda. I think I would be led more by a style and approach and a personality. Um, there is possibility that we as women maybe are slightly more emotional, but that's me, myself. I'm quite an emotional person, so I will maybe look for that more in weddings than somebody else. Um, but is that women think? Not sure. I, I believe, like you, that is the personality. Uh, but I believe also that um, there is some strong influence based on the gender, yes, because uh, male sometimes look for something different than women, and um, mm -hmm. that you can see on the style, on the approach of the photographer to the weddings. Um, I'm more connected with emotions, yes. Uh, also, I'm a very funny people, so I like to put some humor on my photos. I'm also looking for those moments, crazy moments, and uh, moments that make the difference. And uh, also capturing moments that uh, people remember for all the, the life. Yeah. Because uh, many people only, always try to, to get photos or to awards and something like that, but they forget the, the most important thing, the, mm. the power of memories. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I, I so agree with you. The, the power that the power we have actually to, to make those memories mm -hmm. and not even just for the couple, but for future generation it is so important. I've lost my dad two years ago and I know how much actually photos from even my wedding or any photos of him are important now more than ever to me and to my children as well, because that's how the only way they're going to remember him now is from the photos. Yes, I, I had a wedding last year. Um, one of the few weddings I had last year and uh, it was a crazy wedding, many people and uh, 
the mother of the, the groom is a very funny person and uh, always speaking with us and uh, always trying to, to shield the people. And um, one month or one month after the wedding, she died. So, uh -huh. but I have so many good photos um, that is so important and. Uh, the groom asks me, no, no, thanks. And uh, if you can send me now all the photos of my mom, is important to us. Mm. So uh, is something very important, the, the, the power of the memories, yes. But um, also bring something of us to, to, the, to the work, no? You, you try to put uh, your capacity of mom Sometimes you will look more for kids near you and nearby than groom because you have that influence. So I, feel, I believe that part of a woman is, is important, yes. Uh, if a woman is already mom, you can watch that in the photos. <laughs> Yeah, I, I have to say, I probably on the wedding day when there's children involved, I will spend time taking photos or even just making sure the children are okay and safe. Especially like you mentioned, sadly, some very drunk adults. Um, it kind of nature then takes over, yes. Yeah, yeah and, kid, and kids is always... Um... They're always fun as well, children. Yes. And, and, <laughs> they're fantastic, uh, they're fantastic objects. They don't have filters, so... They say something stupid in, in the in the wrong moment. <laughs> I love that they they start running through the the church and uh, something like that. I, I love it. And uh, but that difference between a man that is father and a woman that is mama mother that can make difference. No, um, I really don't know. I think. I'm trying to to put on you on a, on, on a, a moment of doubt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can see that. Um, I'm trying to look through, literally mentally, through some of the images or some of the situation where uh, maybe I would think more like a mum. You. I... It's hard to say because I've never. I, I wasn't a photographer before I become a mum, so it's hard for me to compare. How would I photograph? wedding previously to how I photograph weddings now I think maybe I do bring more emotions and I'm thinking what the children maybe in the future of the couple children what they might see what they might want to see from the wedding day and I feel that maybe sometimes I think that I'm not only photographing for the couple but for the future generation as well yes that's, that is one thing I, I do also I I try to capture and sometimes I say that uh, I'm not photographing for the bride and groom but for the kids, they will have, and uh, the other generations after. Uh, what, when you try to to bring memories from a, a wedding, what do you try to do different from other photographers? I think, mainly, I think each couple is different, and I try to approach each wedding in a very open-minded way. I I like to get to know my couples. I like to get to know them quite well so I can photograph wedding from inside not as an outsider because um, I know that there's some photographers think not knowing a couple at all it's better to reportish way but in my opinion I prefer to know the couple and make sure they're comfortable with me and then they will more allow me in their little bubble to create to capture the story from within not from outside Yes, that, that is also important. And how you try to, to know better the couple? You have some um, questions to them, some um, formularies. What you do think, before the wedding? I always make sure before any couple books me, even if they're very keen to book me, I'll always make sure we have a Zoom call and we familiar with each other, we feel comfortable with each other. Um, and that normally lasts about an hour. That's even just before they, the couple book me. Uh, and then obviously when they're happy and go ahead, uh, I'll make sure that we somewhere follow each other either on Facebook or Instagram or similar platform where we can kind of stay in touch. And so I can see the progress of them uh, arranging the whole weddings, 
and probably once a month, once every few months, exchange emails, just asking how is planning going, making sure everything is on track. Uh, and obviously have a, another call before the wedding with a questionnaire as well. I, I ask you this before because many people think, oh, okay, you, you have a nice job. You only go there on the wedding. You enjoy the party <laughs> and you click some, some buttons and nice job, yours, no? And um, the people don't, don't know all the, the work behind those days. Uh, all sure. the things we need to know about the couple. I cry when the, the bride entered the, the church ma many, many times because during uh, sometimes a, a year, I talk with her a lot of times and I know how she imagined the, the, the day. And uh, during the preparation, she starts talking to me. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. But when she entered the church flying on the super superhero uh, dress and um, it's amazing because in that moment that I feel okay she's realizing her dream yeah and uh, I absolutely agree I uh, the same I try to get to know the couples quite well making sure some of them obviously have some illness in the family and they will share that with me so I will know that, that certain person might be not slightly more important on a day but there might be some more emotions coming from them uh, so to pay attention to those little things. Um, yeah, I, I, I totally agree. To get to know the couple, it's it's really good and for, for me, anyway. Yes, and how is the the market in, in England about wedding photography? Um, now it's closed in every, in, in every yes, place. Now it's closed. <laughs> I mean, I went through the stage of getting very mixed couples, very different styles, different, obviously went through different price brackets, but now I came to, to the point where pretty much the perfect couple will inquire me and I will get those couples will book me. We very much match each other, um, which I hope it comes from the photos and from what I'm showing. And you do some Indian weddings? Yes. Yes. Oh, that is one of my, my dreams and one of my goals is to, <laughs> oh, to, to shoot a, a, an Indian wedding, a free day. Indian wedding. They, they, you literally becoming part of a family. You feel like you're becoming part of a family. Uh, they're so welcoming and they're obviously massive weddings. And I love the dance floor, the whole atmosphere, even though their wedding is extremely long and, like you said, three days events normally or even more. Um, you, the dance floor is packed with people all age. You've got two year olds dancing with grandma dancing, and it's just fantastic vibe in the air. and I genuinely really, really like that. Now you put me more in view of your. <laughs> you need to come over and photograph some weddings here. <laughs> yes, I, I would love because the colors, all those yes. stuffs and the preparation yes. of the bride, the Emma pictures, I love all that. And it's different. And there is some some dreams I have. One of the one of them is that, and the other is to. To make a, a wedding in Moscow, Orthodox oh. wedding, yes. That's that's interesting. Yeah. That's I've never photographed one. Especially but... after they drink all the vodka. That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my own wedding. I got married in Poland, and there was a lot of vodka. Let's say. <laughs> yeah, in Poland also. But... So, which yeah, part of Poland you are? Uh, South Poland, so about an hour away from Krakow. Yes, I know Krakow. I was there. Okay. Yes. Oh, nice place. Wonderful. Yes, I, I spent some days in Poland, in uh, Krakow and Warsaw. Oh, lovely. My brother lives in Warsaw. Yeah. But um, I prefer Krakow much more. Oh, yes, uh, yes massively. Yes. Yeah. Uh, during the, the weddings, uh, which part is for you the, the hardest one? The hardest? Yes. <sighs> I don't really have the hardest part. You, you I, shoot alone uh, or you have a other photographer with you? I, I shoot with another person normally. Um, yeah, we shoot as a duo. Okay, and um, uh, so you, do, not... you do the bride or you do the groom? Mostly I will do the bride uh, unless the bride is comfortable with switching uh, because it's, it's, a, it's a male. Um, 
I personally really like photographing grooms prep. Uh, I get on with grooms quite well. Um, but I think that's next year I might play around with that a little bit more. Depends on the couple, how couple feels about um, me or him yes. photographing uh, bride or groom prep. I, I photograph mainly the, the bride because of that connection of all, almost one year. So yeah. she's more comfortable with me and uh, I can shoot better and more closer because yeah. we have that connection. And uh, that's, that's the thing, because I'm the one who spends more time talking to the couple. Probably it would be easier if I do yes. the, the bride preparation in the morning. And also I try to stay with a bride pr pretty much throughout the whole time until she enters through the door. So, And there are also uh, other question because one... Uh, one bride that I still don't shoot the wedding yet because she postponed from last year to this and now to 2022 okay. because she's a nurse on uh, England and um, she feels that uh, a man shoots better a woman than a woman because she, sa she says to me that no, no, uh, a woman is watching me like a body that she saw all day and the man no so you try to to make the the most beautiful parts of me on the photos and that is, is a interesting opinion because if you shoot grooms most of the time uh, most of them are shy also uh, but you will try to to show the best of the groom mm -hmm. and uh, when I'm shooting the bride, I'm trying to do also that. If she have uh, very nice uh, eyes, I try to, to make photos mainly of the eyes and makeup. If she have a, a nice body, trying to show that. Because it's important to bring those memories to the future, no? Yeah. Do you agree with this bride or you disagree for complete? No, I, uh, I think male might have a slightly different approach for, for female beauty. Uh, and, and that's that's interesting approach obviously um i'm main photographer for the situation and i spend more time talking to the bride um so to make kind of th that dramatic switch would be a big thing yes. um but it would be interesting because also quite often i do photograph as a second photographer as well for other people and then i do photograph the groom preparation which i so enjoy i really have always very good time photographing grooms and it's um now um i, I can't say it's a tendency but uh, it's appearing a lot of photos now of bride and groom naked it's it's starting to become very popular and um, I, i'm requested to make some um, boudoir sessions on the day mm -hmm. and I will have a wedding this year where the couple will uh, lunch with me then we, we, we do a, a couple boudoir session then they prepare and go to the church to marry oh wow yes that will be a crazy crazy wedding and uh, that I think it's can give good good pictures I believe it and well, uh, that the uh, idea from the couple or from yourself? The idea starts from the bride. Yes, and I, I have two more that uh, wants to do boudoir also. I, I start doing some boudoir for improving my photography of women. And there is some people that request, request that. Uh, I put it in on stories of Instagram. And then suddenly some brides Connect, connect me and say, no, no, I want to know your prices because I saw your boudoir photos and I want that at my wedding. And I, I want to incorporate that uh, as um, a part of the, the day. Because, Interesting. Uh, I would never thought about that, I have to say. You have two men do that. The, the two men, they, they do that. Walter Antunes also makes a lot of pictures of the bride uh, on lingerie, sometimes without clothes, and this the Walter and not the wife, the couple shooting the the wedding, 
is Walter that do the the bride photos. So yeah. because bride sometimes uh, appears to trust more on the man than on the woman. It's strange. Interesting. Yes, and that is one of the reasons I, I was starting with you asking the difference because two men who does the, the photos of the bride sometimes naked on the shower is, is Lenny. And yeah. uh, so it's very strange. Some that, stunning photos, actually. Yes, yes. some stunning photos. Absolutely. And, uh, I obviously follow two men and I exactly pictured that I know which photos you're talking about and they are absolutely amazing. And you have, you have also Rafael Bohar that does amazing uh, after wedding sessions, pre-wedding sessions of couples naked on the, on the nature, enter the sea naked. So I believe we, we are watching a transition of, uh, of moods on the weddings. From the very traditional to outside of tradition and um, Many weddings, small weddings, I don't know if you have that in there, not elopements, but uh, micro weddings. Yeah, obviously at the moment, I think there will be quite a few of them <laughs> when we allow to. Yes, in, in, in Portugal, they have a, a new concept they created in here that also is in 14 countries. Uh, Pop-up weddings is during the week, four hours, is, uh, from two to 15 people. And uh, mainly uh, foreigners that are requesting the, they want to come here and marry here. Okay, they bring 10 friends. Okay, I will do a, a micro wedding. It's cheaper and it's different. It's, yeah, like, it's like in the past you, you say, I will marry in Vegas. <laughs> now you say, I'm going marry on Algarve. <laughs> yes. Where about in Portugal you based? I'm I'm uh, at Coimbra, uh, at, from uh, Lisbon to Oporto is on the center, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm starting to move to to Lisbon. Yes, because much more uh, market, and uh, yeah. to start working with this trying type of weddings. Yes. Yeah, of and and you you are based on on where in England? I'm based in Northwest uh, on on actual coast of which is quite quite pretty, Elvin Saint Anne's, which is about an hour away from Manchester, going up north. Okay, cold. <laughs> it is comparing to Portugal oh, but, for sure. But for for a, a Polish girl, that is. Oh no 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 no! In Poland, we've got beautiful summers and strong winters, but. Proper four seasons. Where I actually live in England, it's pretty much just grey most of the time. And mainly difference between uh, Polish weddings and um, English weddings. Um, party, food. Uh, in Poland, weddings, the, the couple pays for everything. The, the guests are the guests. They they don't have to take a wallet out once unless for a taxi home, which normally is about six in the morning. Um, so... They and they're not that expensive. Probably now they are, um, but you've got food pretty much served all day long. Uh, every hour you've got something to eat. So even though the people drink a lot, a lot of alcohol, they're very well fed and they party, party games. It's very vibrant, very like loud. Still early hours in the morning, probably. <laughs> yes, yes. In Portugal, the guests don't pay nothing. English weddings. But in England, the guests need to pay. Uh, depends on the couple, depends on the venue, but quite often, yes, for the drinks. Uh, they will have maybe uh, one drink, one glass of wine with a meal, but then everything else they have to buy themselves. That is that is really strange. Mm. Yeah. Especially if, if you're invited to a very expensive venue. <laughs> yes, but it's really, really strange. The... But okay, it's, it's a tradition that um, I was speaking between the, the photos you take on Poland and the, on England, which are the main difference you can watch in your work? Um, I would say in a photography way, it's I wouldn't say there is any difference for me because the couple who will book me in Poland will have the same mindset as a, as a couple who will book me here. They're going to want a documentary approach not traditional approach, 
uh, not many of the of the group photos. I still obviously provide those because I, I do believe they're very important uh, for again for the generations. Um, but those will be couples who don't want to stand there for ages taking portraits. Yes, they might want a couple beautiful ones, but they don't want to go off for a photo session for a couple of hours. Um, and there will be couples normally who like to party and just want to have a good time on a wedding and want to have that whole story captured. So I don't think for my couples, it matters where they're from and where is the wedding. It's more what they want from me as a photographer. Is, is um, something I, I received today, yesterday, uh, a request of a budget from a Brazilian couple. Mm -hmm. And uh, the bride today says to me, Nuno, uh, okay, we want some photos as a couple, but um, I want a half an hour of a session only about me. And I start to say, okay, it's strange. The bride is is very very beautiful, but you want that for what? And I, if you can send me photos on the moment, you take the photo. Five minutes, you can give me some photos. Is to Instagram. So the girl wants a lot of photos alone as bride. A, a individual session. Mm. to post photos on, <laughs> on Instagram. That's, that's, that's different. That's very different. Yeah, but that can be different and uh, challenge. Mm. Because uh, you're, we are regularly with the couple. So suddenly we say to, to the groom, OK, you can go. I stay with the bride. It's strange is really strange but did you have some um, different requests like this i've not came across one yet like that i would never say never if the couple ask me to do something like that of course i would do it because that's what they hiring me for potentially um but i've not came across that kind of request or anything but but you think I'm that just... the social media will change what the couples ask us yes i think i think genuinely it already has even the pinterest some brides will come with not to me that i think that kind of brides won't book me as a wedding photographer will more uh book someone who shows that kind of photos whereas loads of details or loads of this is pretty much photo i would like to be taken um which I would do, but I would probably question why she wants that photo and then maybe trying to create something which would be based on what she would show me, but still make it her personal because I think replica of the photo, well, it's just a replica then, then it's not unique and each wedding is unique and we as humans are each unique and that's what I try to show in my photography. And um, But I do think there is a lot of influence from social media. I, I watched um, a seminar last year where there is a, a debate very, very curious. Most of the time, we shoot like this. In the future, we shoot like this. Mm. Not horizontal, True. but vertical, because of social media. Social media and the way it phone is, yeah. Yes, I yes. have to say, most of the day, I've got camera And like uh, one photographer is speaking with me and say, I already have my mind formatted to make the photo and left space to crop on a square to Instagram. Funny enough, actually, the photo which I've taken today, that photo originally was taken at horizontal. Yes, but but uh, a photographer, but so a photographer that uh, thinks on a photo and says, OK, I like this photo composition, but later I can crop on a square to put on social media, mm -hmm. that is strange. It is strange, but it could be also quite creative. I'm thinking, it literally just crossed my mind, oh, am I... Uh, but you are thinking take... on two compositions on the same photo. And that is that, that is the strange part. That is strange, yeah. Let, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, it's an uh, important uh, question because social media is the future. Mm. So, 
what you think is uh, vertical will be the, the future, vertical photos? I think you've got a very, very good point that it might be. But then again, weddings, I still see massive trend, at least here in the UK, of couple getting and buying albums, which, again, from story point telling view, I think albums are always going to be timeless. We've yeah. got our grandparents' albums, and for albums' purposes, it doesn't matter if they're vertical or horizontal. And uh, one thing I, I said to a photographer is that uh, today the phones are vertical, but uh, suddenly they can be. They might change. They might be like this, the format. Yeah. You know? So why we are worried with um, a type of photography? for our days and uh, not to be eternal, like in the past. And uh, I, I prepared the, my website to, to mobile phones because most of the traffic is from mobile phone. Uh, my PDF of uh, prices is on vertical because most of the people open it on a phone so that we can prepare for uh, for the the audience but photo no i believe that yeah. the, the photos need to be uh, horizontal no yeah i agree with you okay that that is a good point <laughs> and uh, you have uh, any dream of wedding you you want to shoot you already uh... shoot where indian wedding so <laughs> be calm eh? be wedding. calm <laughs> me uh, I really really would like to travel genuinely to South America so I would like to photograph wedding over there I would like to see which country Brazil I can I say that Brazil. is is uh, different from what you expect yes, probably and, and uh, it changed from the re region of uh, Brazil because I have many Brazilian photographers I, I'm friend and I ask and they have weddings during the week at the end of the day. People left the work and oh. goes to a wedding. Okay, wow. let's go to a wedding. <laughs> and you start thinking, what? Yes, it's true. And uh, they have many flowers in that part is very nice. They have good, um, good decoration not like in Portugal, because people in Portugal want food and drinks. That is the most important part. Uh, but it's, it's strange. I would love to, to shoot uh, weddings in Africa. The, again, the probably I've got, I've got a good friend who's uh, photographing a few weddings in Africa, and they're very similar to Indian weddings. They're colorful, they're crazy dancing, they've amazing and obviously large very very large as well uh, that that would be amazing experience yes and uh, in in asia no never been never been no? that okay. probably would be something anything travel involving but it, it would really you already be... go to italy so <laughs> another dream of all photographers is, is to shoot on italy because they have some nice weddings uh, I saw the, some works, and this is stunning. And, uh, especially in in the in those villas outside the cities, it's uh, very 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 nice. And uh, the biggest ambition you have on photography? Oh, capture the best possible memories for my couples. Only. So you, you already achieve it. That. I always want to be better photographer than I was the day before, and I, I hope every photo I take is better than the last one I've taken. Um, but I want to my my aim is to make sure that all my couples are happy with what they having from me and the experience they're having with me, uh, and they're coming back to me. I had a wonderful experience with one couple two years ago, where um, I got very close with them. Actually, we became very close friends, and when I've written a blog. Uh, the father contacted me, father of the bride, and asked me for hard copy because he wanted to print a blog and put it on a wall. And that literally 
probably was my biggest achievement. I've won quite a few awards and they were extremely important and I'm very happy with them. But that email from that father really meant probably more to me than any of those awards. Yes, that is the touching moment that uh, makes uh, makes feel that our profession is really, really special. Yeah, you f it makes you feel appreciated because awards are given by another photographers, really. Um, and but another photographer, it's not our customer. And sometimes we're getting a bit too much fixed in our heads, even when we're posting on social media or entering awards to how others will see us. And on the end of the day, that's not our customers. Yes. That's not who we're trying to please. That's not our paying customers. And that's what's important to me. Yes, and, and, and the other day I was in, in on uh, with Brazilian photographers. I was on a live uh, criticizing photos of their students, and I have to choose the best one from that night. And uh, there is seven, eight photos, uh, nice photos, and uh, I said to to them that it's hard to choose the better one because we are photographers and when we are looking to a photo we search the mistakes and yeah. never the the good things and the client is the opposite so start thinking on the client first forget uh, what other photographer will say and try to, to shoot more like uh, the client want I, I think that is very important, sure. especially for those that are starting to shoot weddings now or shooting family, because many people are worried with, okay, I want to win awards. And they forget that a good photo they made, they don't value it because didn't win awards, but is a very, very, very good photo. And uh, most, most pe people forget that and lost the, the essence of the photography. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely agree. Again, actually, I'll come back to one of the conversations I had recently with a bride who booked us as a wedding photographers. And she was actually a guest at the wedding I was talking uh, before about. Uh, and she said to me that the photos, she when she saw the photos, the one photo of the bride coming down the aisle with the father, actually not taken by me, taken um, by uh, my business partner. And um, that made her cry. And that moment she wanted to book us, knowing that's what she wants. And again, that's that, that photo was entered to many awards. Um, not won anything, but it won the customer and won the bride and the groom and the father and everyone else. So that's what matters. Yes, and uh, when they they... They bring the album and uh, start speaking with other people and say, I love their work. They shoot everything I ask. In that moment, you feel important. And that is the, when you feel, okay, they hire me to a job and I did it very well. And that is important. That I have some fathers and, and mothers pass by on the street by me and come, hey, no, no, how are you? That makes me feel important. They don't forget me. And uh, that is the beauty of our, our job. We are already almost five minutes to the end. So <laughs> if you have to, to say three, four tips to people that are starting on photography now. Three tips for people who are starting photography. Yeah. Think about your clients, like we said. Think about how what your how you would like to be treated first of all um as a bride or a groom um and be approachable be open-minded because also even though you might have experience with a wedding for that couple that's most likely first wedding and hopefully only wedding um and shoot for the couple not for yourself as much as we want to sometimes shoot for ourselves and trying to think awards or portfolio think about your customers because that's the most important person on your wedding day i in that part i do half half <laughs> yes some of the time i disappear and i will start doing some photos for myself 
As long as you've got the ones covered for the for the couple. Yes, um, I. Um, or you've got another person with you. Yes. That's that's probably one of the reasons why I always, well, most of ninety nine percent of weddings photographers duo because I want to say right, you do these important things, the group photos, and I can just go. But I, my head, how I call it. I will start a, a strange thing that is uh, next year and. Uh, I don't know if this year with the uh, pandemic thing, but in next year I will like uh, change a wedding with uh, Luca Galizio. I go mm -hmm. Italy and he comes to to Portugal shoot a, a oh, wedding. Fantastic! Yes, uh, Emil Boczek also wants to do that. Brilliant! Uh, yes, and some uh, photographers from Brazil. So my second shooter never be the same, and the couples don't know who is the amazing photographer I will bring with me. Wow. And that is very nice. Also Sergio Arnez from Spain, Albert from Barcelona also wants to do that um, a change of, of weddings. And we learn a lot with that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. absolutely. Yes, because uh, we go outside of the box, working with someone we never work and uh, shoot in a place we never been. So. It's, it's Ooh, amazing. Something very interesting. <laughs> there might be a little email coming your way. <laughs> yes. Okay. You are you are my guest when you want. Yes. Uh, Adriana from um, Brazil that works in Argentina. Adriana Carolina. Oh, uh, last year she was to come uh, two months for, to Europe in 2020. Yes, she was to come two two months. She will be to be with me three weddings. And then uh, goes to shoot with other Portuguese photographer, and then with uh, Sergio Escrivá, uh, with uh, Iñaki Lungaran, and uh, Rafa Cucharero. Wow! So That's... she will come here to to learn and to work with different photographers, and return to Argentina with a lot of new things on the head. But That's then, awesome. then COVID appears and says goodbye. Don't go. And uh, she is anxious to come. She is also half Polish. She's oh. a yes, yes. She have that uh, that part um, from from Krakow also near oh, Krakow. Yes, I need you, to get in touch with her. Yes, you need to. Yeah, in the Skype. In the end, I will say who she is. And um, to to the the end of this good conversation. If you can say the most funny thing you have on a wedding. A most funny thing. Um, because I also have a dream. I always say when the bride starts to enter, I say fall, 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 fall. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, so if we're talking about that kind of funny things, I had to... Uh, I was second shooting on a wedding. I was probably in first few months of me second shooting, assisting, learning wedding photography. And it was a very local wedding. Um, and the bride, let's say, had a little bit too much to drink. So as she cut the cake, she literally fallen backwards. Oh. Because she was so drunk. Don't you have someone in the back so she can go up on the cake? <laughs> But I make a prayer in, the, in those moments. Make a prayer to results. <laughs> yeah, it was it was very much the beginning of my journey. And the photographer I was photographing at the time, he was more traditional photographer. So he literally said, "Don't take a photos." And I thought, oh, "What?" And I that like probably photo. was one of the moments where I've realized, no, 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 I want to take photos like that because that bride's gonna love it in Donkey Gia's time, probably. Um, and you have a. a a wedding photographer in England that makes a lot of funny photos and make a, a exposition of that. I don't know. I don't remember the name now. Um, I mean, York Place Studio always find a good humor in a in their photography, which I really enjoy. They very much documentary photographers and amazing, amazing photographers actually. Um, their, their, their photos have a lot of humor to it. Um, 
but I'm trying to think. Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, no problem. Janina, it was a very nice talk. I hope Lovely all the people loved. No more nervous. No, I've got, listen, I've that we're actually on the, on the YouTube. <laughs> yes, this is, this is very, very easy and um, I hope we can talk soon and uh, who knows when you come to Portugal, you make a, a wedding with me, okay? That would be absolutely wonderful. I would love that and hopefully you can come over here and photograph with me Indian wedding. Okay, don't disconnect now. Okay. We, start, we continue talking on the Skype. So to the other people, Have a nice night and uh, quinta-feira vamos ter o Felipe Miranda a falar de direção de casais. Não percam. Quinta-feira às 10 horas, já sabem, aqui no mesmo local, no YouTube.